There are thousands of small handicap tournaments run every day. You don't have to handicap your tournament at all. You can have an open race to three tournament, and there's plenty of those, and that's great. But if you do want to handicap your small tournament, I want to talk about the right way to do it. I'll start by talking about an inadequate but familiar way to run handicap tournaments. Then I'll introduce a change that solves a lot of the problems and gets us to what I'll call marginally adequate. And then finally, talk about the right way to do things. You've seen this before. This is old school. Let's say you have time for a race to four. You take the weak players and you say, okay, you guys go to two games to win a match. The middle players go to three games to win a match. And the top players go to four games to win a match. You can call those groups C, B, and A, or two, three, and four, or whatever you like. Sounds simple enough, but here are six problems or issues with this format. The first is match length and balance. When two top players play, they, they play a race to four, which takes up to seven games to complete the match. When two C players play, they play a race to two, which takes at most three games to finish the match. That's a big difference. The top players play a little bit faster than the weak players, but not nearly to this degree. This is a serious match length time imbalance. Second problem is there are three categories, and the players in the top half of any of the categories have an advantage over the players in the bottom half of any of the categories. It's better to be a strong C player, for instance, than it is to be a weak B player. Third problem, and we can put ratings next to the categories to illustrate the problems, is that some pairs close in skill have a spot and other pairs pretty far apart in skill have no spot. For instance, if a 475 plays a 485, there's a one game spot between them, even though they're played very close to one another. And if a, a 485 plays a 590, huge gap between them, but there's no spot at all. If you're a strong C player or a strong B player, you can do well in this tournament all year long, but you really don't want to be raised to the next level because then you'll be at the bottom of the category and you'll be in bad shape. So there's a strong incentive to avoid being raised. The difference between giving one game in a race to four and two games in a race to four, 25% to 50% of the match, is huge. There's no gradual change in the spot. Finally, this format handles the large skill gaps poorly. The A range, for instance, is very large, and the very top players in the A range are often excluded from the tournament. This is a tournament for everybody but Bill and Joey. Um, also, the C range is huge, and the, the weaker, newer players often have absolutely no chance and just don't play. If the players have Fargo ratings, or even a guess of a Fargo rating, here's a simple change that solves three of the six problems. Players are no longer labeled as a two or three or four. In every match, the better player of each pair goes to four, and the opponent uh, goes to four also unless the opponent is 75 or more points below. At 75 points, the opponent gets a game spot. At, at 150 points, the opponent gets two games spot. Looking at the stuff in gray here, there's no more high B versus low B nonsense. There's no more players that play close to one another having to play with a spot. There's no more strong incentive to avoid being raised. There's no 10-point gap and improvement that you might do that puts you into some much tougher category or anything like that. So that's a lot of progress. Let's go the rest of the way and get everything grayed out. Here's the idea of a match chart. This is the R4 match chart. Players gonna, are going to play one of these five matches, four to four, four to three, five to three, five to two, and six to two. And what you notice is that every single one of these matches takes at most six or seven games to complete the match. Sounds complicated, but it's not. All you have to do is look at the rating gap between the two players, and it tells you what match to play. For instance, if the higher-rated player is a 560, lower-rated player is a 490, that's a 70-point gap. You look on here and you see a 70-point gap leads to a 4-3 to three race. Or better still, hopefully you're using a computer program to run the tournament that's doing that for you. Setting up a tournament like this involves answering essentially these three questions for a double elimination tournament. First, a handicap level. Hot is the most handicap, mild is the least handicap. Then you might want to have different races on the winner side and the loser side. If you have time for, let's say, a race of four on the winner side, three on the loser side, you might choose chart R4 on the winner side, chart R3 on the loser side. And then you might advertise. This is a double elimination nine ball tournament, R4 slash R3 with hot handicaps. We expect modifications to be available in the setup. Uh, for instance, you might choose match chart R4, but want to exclude the races to two. So just use 4-4, four, 4-3, four, four, and 5-3 and get rid of 5-2 and 6-2. Or you might want to use 
chart R5 and add in 7 to 2 and 8 to 2 races. What we call speed up rules that you can check or enable. Uh, these are not championship tournaments. They're, they're fun weekly events and it's better if they run smoothly. So a couple of examples of speed up rules is let's say the computer can look and see if both players in a match are from the bottom half of the field. They're both weak players it could have automatically that match go to one chart level below. So if you're, you're playing R4, it could select a match from R3, race to three instead of a race to four. Um, also, if one segment of the bracket is more than one full match behind the others, uh, it could automatically bump down a match chart uh, so that the matches are a little bit shorter and they speed up and, and it catches up. Those are just some examples of uh, speed up rules that you could either choose to use or not choose to use. So again, Fargo ratings and match charts are the right way to run a small handicap tournament. You want to, might want to make sure all the leagues in your area are using Fargo rate LMS for league management because that gets all the games in, gets everybody's rating stronger, and makes all of this run more smoothly.